when a narcissist realises you hate and are bored of them. Hey there, lovely souls. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the aftermath of dealing with a narcissist. Ever wondered what goes through their minds when you're finally done with their antics? Stick around because I've got all the answers for you in this video. Let's get into it. I've been itching to tackle this topic for quite some time now. There's a lot to unpack here. So what happens when the narcissist realises that you're no longer playing their game? That's precisely what we're delving into today. First off, let's talk about the moment when the narcissist finally clocks that you're out of their grasp. It's like a sigh of relief, isn't it? You've hit your breaking point, and it's exactly where you need to be. You've reached that tipping point where you bid farewell to manipulation and manipulation-induced guilt. You're awakening to the truth, though the trauma bond may linger. You've come to terms with the fact that this individual isn't serving your best interests. Maintaining that toxic dynamic is simply out of the question. It's a wrap. You've realized that your mental, emotional, and physical well-being are far too precious to be jeopardized by anyone else's toxic presence. Your understanding has evolved, almost like a growth spurt of awareness. Getting to this point is no small feat. It's incredibly tough to let go of someone you've loved and deeply connected with, especially when narcissists have this magnetic allure about them. But hey, pat yourself on the back because you've tackled the toughest part. Deciding to walk away from this cycle shows that you value yourself, as you rightly should. You're breaking free from this vicious cycle once and for all. Many of us grapple with this realization, wondering why we didn't make our exit sooner. Yet, breaking away from such individuals is no easy feat, as they persistently tug at the energetic strings, craving your attention and forgiveness. Ah, the intricate dance of returning to a narcissist. It's a maze of emotions and rationalizations. On the surface, slipping back into their grasp may seem like a breeze, initially filling you with a sense of euphoria. You might even entertain the notion that things will somehow be different this time around. If luck is on your side, those initial weeks or months might even be sprinkled with moments of joy, convincing you that you've made the right call. The narcissist, with their silver tongue and mastery of manipulation, will artfully weave rational arguments whenever you entertain thoughts of returning. Their gaslighting prowess is unmatched, painting a picture where every word they utter seems logical, every promise of change seems genuine, and the prospect of reuniting feels like a beacon of hope. But beware, this mindset makes the return journey all too enticing. It's as if the pain of the past has been conveniently wiped clean. In reality, though, you're merely lowering your standards out of fear, the fear of being alone, the fear of facing the unknown without them by your side. Now, pause and reflect on this pivotal moment. Is settling for less than you deserve truly aligned with your life's aspirations? Absolutely not. Your life is far too precious to be squandered on crumbs, especially from someone who has revealed their true colours time and time again. Realise that your existence transcends this toxic cycle. Entertaining the idea of returning may lead you right back to where you started. You owe it to yourself to stand firm in your decision not to look back. Perhaps, over time, you've noticed a recurring pattern with each return, a familiar tale of haptic and disappointment. It's natural to try to rationalise these experiences, to make sense of the chaos. Yet, grasping the complexities of such a toxic relationship is no easy feat. It's akin to unravelling a labyrinth of despair. But here's the silver lining. The narcissist entered your life for a reason, not to tether you indefinitely, but to impart lessons and foster growth. Through your struggles with them, you've emerged stronger, wiser. Recognising that their presence was merely a chapter in your journey, not the entire story, 
is a pivotal step toward reclaiming your power and forging ahead, however arduous the path may seem. Beware the allure of returning to a situation or relationship with hopes of change. It often leads to disappointment rather than progress. These familiar patterns tap into childhood wounds, drawing you back with a false sense of comfort and belonging. Initially, returning may feel like slipping into a well-worn sweater, but soon enough, the reality of toxicity and destruction sets in. Those who inflict pain tend to continue doing so, perpetuating a stagnant cycle that stifles growth and evolution. They remain entrenched in their ways, impervious to the prospect of positive change, despite any glimmers of hope or belief. Their promises of transformation are but illusions, designed to lure you back into their web of manipulation. Yet, this cycle inevitably repeats, leaving things unchanged. Narcissists grapple with the loss of a reliable source when you bid them farewell and refuse to return. To them, your value lies not in your presence, but in the attention and resources you provide. A one-sided connection built on taking rather than giving. They may momentarily mimic reciprocity to ensnare you once more, but such behavior is fleeting and does not reflect their true nature. It's admirable to break free from the clutches of a narcissist, but be wary, they will relentlessly attempt to reel you back in. They'll shower you with promises, sweet words, and grand gestures, but their actions rarely align with genuine change. Understanding their relentless pursuit to reintegrate you is crucial. They seldom reflect on their actions or learn from their mistakes, trapped in a limited perspective. When they sense your withdrawal, they'll stop at nothing to regain control, resorting to any means necessary to win you back. The allure of returning can be irresistible. When someone you care about showers you with attention, it's natural to feel drawn back to them. Their focus on you may create a sense of validation and importance, tempting you to believe that rekindling the connection will offer closure or a fresh start. You might even think that seeking answers from them will aid in your healing process. But engaging with them for closure or answers is perilous. It's likely to ensnare you once again in their orbit, trapping you in the same vicious cycle you were trying to escape. If left unchecked, this cycle can perpetuate indefinitely, making it increasingly challenging to break free. Beware that the comfort and empathy offered by narcissists may lead you back to square one. The pattern of seeking answers and being pulled back in only serves to delay the realization that moving forward without them is the healthiest choice. Narcissists perceive certain behaviors as necessary to reel someone back into their lives. They lack an understanding of genuine love and view relationships as transactions. They focus solely on how others can fulfill their needs and inflate their ego. While they may have other options available, they often perceive your presence as superior, making them hesitant to let go. Narcissists will go to great lengths to maintain their sense of contentment. However, their efforts to rekindle the relationship may vary depending on how it ended. If the breakup was tumultuous or contentious, they may opt for a more subdued approach to avoid humiliation or rejection. In such cases, they may choose to maintain distance and refrain from pursuing you aggressively. But remember, their absence may not be permanent. Narcissists engage in hoovering tactics, attempting to lure you back into the relationship after some time has passed, hoping that the distance has softened your resistance. They may actively pursue you immediately or bide their time before reinserting themselves into your life, depending on the circumstances of the breakup and their chances of winning you over again. It's important to recognize that their intentions are not rooted in love or genuine concern for your well-being, but rather in their desire to continue reaping the benefits of your presence. Understanding their motivations can empower you to make informed decisions about how to handle their attempts to rekindle the relationship, 
ensuring that you prioritize your own well-being. We must remain vigilant as people, even narcissists, often deceive us in our interactions. Narcissists excel at telling us what we want to hear, weaving enticing lies that temporarily boost our egos and make us feel good. In such situations, discernment becomes paramount. We must carefully evaluate their words for authenticity, recognizing that what appears true on the surface may be nothing more than a carefully crafted facade designed to manipulate and control us. This begs the question, how many times are we willing to be ensnared in this cycle? How many times will we fall prey to their deceitful tactics? Are we prepared to invest our time and energy in trying to understand, heal, or change someone who may not truly care for us? Seeking closure from a habitual liar is an exercise in futility. Instead, we should focus on probing the underlying motives behind their deceitful behavior. What do they stand to gain from lying to us? Why do they resist or reject honesty? These are critical questions that can help us unravel the complexities of the relationship dynamics and safeguard our well-being. Narcissists naturally detest losing their emotional supply and discovering this loss can unsettle them. In response, they typically adopt one of two strategies. Some may aggressively attempt to reclaim you, while others may opt to leave you alone, recognizing the futility of their efforts. This scenario underscores the importance of self-assurance and resilience. Understanding that the narcissist's manipulation has ended is crucial. Narcissists often struggle with attachment issues, making it difficult for them to let go. Driven by their need for control and validation, they may persist in trying to maintain the connection. It's imperative to stand firm and reject their advances. Recognizing the impact the narcissist had on your life and the lessons you've gleaned from the experience is key to moving forward. Understanding that their presence wasn't meant to be permanent can be empowering, signaling that the relationship served as a catalyst for personal growth rather than a lifelong commitment. I acknowledge that coming to terms with these realities can be challenging. However, acknowledging your resilience in overcoming a narcissistic relationship can bring a sense of peace. Remember, you possess inner strength surpassing that of the narcissist, and moving on was the right decision. Thank you for investing your time in watching this video. Your support is invaluable. If you found this information beneficial, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement enables us to reach and assist more individuals facing similar challenges. Until the next video, farewell. Welcome to today's riveting exploration into the complex world of narcissists and their sexual dynamics. Like everyone else, narcissists harbor primal urges for sexual fulfillment. Yet, delving into intimate connections with a narcissist poses inherent risks and hurdles. The allure of such encounters can be intoxicating, but beware, it's a slippery slope. This presentation uncovers the myriad ways narcissists may manipulate others in intimate settings, making it essential viewing. Stick around until the end for a revelation that promises to broaden your perspective. First up, let's talk about love bombing, a signature move of narcissists. Narcissists are masters at crafting an enchanting facade to lure in their targets. They recognize that people are often drawn to charisma and allure. In the early stages of a relationship, they emit an aura of entitlement, believing they're entitled to their partner's adoration. Their strategy, showering their target with excessive kindness and presenting themselves as paragons of virtue. Through this charm offensive, they seek to dazzle, entrap, and ultimately manipulate their target. Their end game, using sex as a tool to express gratitude for the favors and affection received. Moving on to point number two, 
narcissists cultivate dependence in their partners. Much like the intricate steps of a tango, a sexual relationship where one feels desired and cherished is undeniably enticing. This dynamic serves as a boost to self-esteem and confidence. Narcissists excel at convincing their partners that they are indispensable, subtly implying that their very existence hinges on their partner's presence. Consequently, in the embrace of a narcissist, one becomes conditioned to endure mistreatment, leading to the development of codependency. Narcissists exploit this reliance to maintain control and dominance. Let's delve into the world of those who prioritize others' needs over their own. Narcissists are naturally drawn to such individuals, as they see them as easy targets. Seizing the opportunity, narcissists manipulate these people into dependency, leading them to believe they found someone who will finally prioritize their needs. For the codependent individual, this newfound trust instills a sense of self-worth they'd longed for. Now, on to our third point, narcissists' unwavering sense of entitlement. Narcissists embody entitlement at its core. They genuinely believe they deserve everything they desire, whether earned or not. This extends to their sexual relationships, where they feel entitled to engage with anyone they choose, disregarding boundaries or others' intentions. Narcissists exude pride and self-importance, always putting their happiness above all else. To them, the world exists solely to ensure their contentment. Let's explore number four, where narcissists resort to threats and intimidation to maintain control. Narcissists firmly believe their desires are the only truth, dismissing others' autonomy and perspectives. They struggle to accept no as an answer and fiercely combat opposition by erecting emotional barriers and employing any means necessary to win. Resorting to blackmail or instilling fear is not uncommon for them to achieve their objectives. Unfortunately, instances of both men and women using threats of sexual violence against others are prevalent. In their quest to coerce someone into sexual acts, Narcissists may resort to tarnishing their victim's reputation. When faced with resistance to their sexual desires, they may stoop to sharing explicit material publicly to humiliate and manipulate their victim. Now on to number five, coercion and forceful actions. Narcissists often adopt a by any means necessary mindset to satisfy their desires, disregarding the importance of enthusiastic consent. They believe you must comply with their demands, leaving no room for choice. Regardless of your consent, be it a yes or a no, narcissists may engage in sexual acts without permission or against explicit wishes. If they desire sexual contact with you, they may resort to threats, deception, or even violence to fulfill their selfish desires. Let's delve into number six, where we explore the absence of genuine connection. Narcissists operate without constraints, prioritizing their social circle above all else. While intimate encounters hold deep emotional significance for many, they bear no genuine romantic or emotional value to narcissists. For them, sexuality lacks true emotional depth and having a satisfying sexual experience outweighs forming genuine connections. While you may perceive the encounter as strengthening the relationship, the narcissist views it solely as a casual fling. They avoid taking responsibility for their actions or the outcome, much like someone discarding a partner once they gained attention. Similarly, a narcissist may detach emotionally after fulfilling their sexual desires, akin to a woman terminating a pregnancy without emotional attachment. Now on to number seven, dishonesty and infidelity. Narcissistic personality disorder presents challenges in maintaining long-term relationships, leading narcissists to engage in extramarital or non-committed sexual encounters. 
They prioritize their own desires over marital commitments, finding self-gratification and validation in these encounters regardless of the consequences. Excited by such liaisons, they exhibit no remorse if caught, often deflecting blame onto others, including former partners or unnamed third parties. Let's explore how this behavior becomes a channel for satisfying their sexual desires. From the narcissistic viewpoint, individuals are seen as flawed and easily replaceable. Sexual narcissists perceive others merely as objects to fulfill their own sexual cravings. Once someone no longer serves their purpose as a servant or a plaything, they're swiftly discarded. Remaining entangled with a narcissist demands sacrificing independence, personal boundaries, and even one's own sexuality, always being available and open to their whims. Now on to number eight, narcissistic self-centeredness in pursuit of pleasure. Narcissists prioritize their pleasure, whether it's sexual satisfaction or feeding their ego. They hold a grandiose self-image, both inside and outside the bedroom, viewing themselves as superior beings. While they may derive pleasure from their sexual partners, genuine connection or intimacy isn't on their agenda. Their self-centeredness translates into a lack of empathy, focusing on quantity rather than quality. Their own desires and interests always take precedence over their partners. Entangling with a narcissist heightens the risk of encountering sexually risky behavior or even sexual abuse. Number nine, exploitation and subsequent dismissal. To a narcissist, you're simply a tool to achieve their ends. Even if they initially treated you like royalty, their attitude may eventually turn contemptuous. Following the familiar script, they'll manipulate and drain you until you're emotionally and physically depleted. Once they've extracted what they wanted from you, you're quickly forgotten as they seek out fresh conquests. They anticipate you'll perpetuate this cycle of behavior toward them. After satisfying their sexual cravings, narcissists are prone to exploiting you once more, only to discard you yet again. Here's another intriguing tidbit to consider. Number 10, the narcissist's photo exhibitionism. Narcissists crave the spotlight and will do anything to bask in its glow. They flood their social media with images, showcasing either their perceived strengths or projecting a negative facade, all to capture everyone's attention. Their blotted ego leads them to belittle other men, often boasting about their physical attractiveness to their partners, assuming it's enough to win compliance. Beware for stepping into their orbit risks injury. Without warning, they may bombard you with photos, posing next to flashy cars or plastering them online showcasing their self-absorption to the extreme. When faced with such antics, the wisest move is to disengage completely. Never look back. Those with narcissistic traits care little for others' well-being, extending this disregard into their sexual exploits. It's vital to note that individuals with various psychopathic inclinations share a similar propensity for sexual misconduct. Their danger extends far beyond the bedroom, infiltrating the streets. Thank you for accompanying us on this illuminating journey through narcissism's impact on relationships. We've explored a spectrum of behaviors, from their cunning strategies to their self-centered tendencies. Remember, recognizing and safeguarding yourself from the toxicity of narcissists is paramount. If you found this discourse enlightening and thought-provoking, consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay abreast of our latest uploads. Your support and feedback are deeply appreciated. Until next time, take care of yourself and those in your orbit. Wishing you a splendid day, and we eagerly anticipate our next encounter. Farewell.